see this woman right here, Kelsey Minato, had her number retired before she was even done playing. And we've been watching her for a day and a half, and we haven't seen her miss. I expect her to run away with it, Ness. And on the other side, as Sean said earlier, had her jersey retired already while she was still active. All right. The girl on the right, Kelsey, have you seen her miss for a day and a half? <laughs> she no. Much she last has night. seen no. nothing. When you wake up at 5.30 in the morning, every morning to start your day, you just start making baskets right away. Raise your hand if you've had Kobe Bryant tweet about you or tweet at you. Rachel had, but right now she is struggling. Now she's starting to find a stroke a little bit. Money ball. There she had a good wing whack. Goes to the top of the circle. Be honest, first round here, nobody's really posted that that number that everybody's going to take notice of. Everybody's been pretty competitive with one another. That money ball is pretty important for both. Kelsey had a little trouble just getting the ball out of the rack there. It was stuck. Well, she's got it figured out. Money time. Got it. With 14, she's in right now. I would think so. Unless Rachel gets going here on the final rack. She's going to have to. And she's starting to warm up from uh -oh. the baseline. Uh-oh. Money time. Didn't get it. Kelsey gets it. Kelsey's got 17. You mentioned it. I mean, Kelsey, her day, this is like a vacation for her. Oh, <laughs> he probably slept into about 11 this morning. Probably went and got some fast food right afterwards. Kelsey Monado, who had 17, she is... Double D's choice to win it all. Three-time Patriot League Player of the Year. Yes, I don't know that I've ever heard of somebody getting their uniform retired before they're done playing. Yeah, or, how about, or how about sitting down with us and going, yeah, well, you know, Secretary of Defense said if I get drafted into the WNBA, I, I can play right away and then serve my, my duty to my country after I'm done playing. He was talking about her schedule with school and her commitment at West Point and playing basketball. There wasn't five minutes in there where you could just goof around. <laughs> like, well, she wasn't going to dime beer night somewhere. <laughs> 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 they, they moved to the wing. She can really shoot it. I mean, she really can. As I said, if she gets the ball over the front of the rim, usually it goes in. If she misses, it's short. Oh, money was good, too. It is a very soft release, great arc. And you're right, if she gets it over the front yeah. iron, it's good. She has a little bit of a problem getting it over the front iron, but once she does, she, her misses are usually short. There's the best round so far. And Mitchell trying to get the double digits. Renato had no problem with that, so better for her in round two. She hit eight of her last ten. Kelsey's in the finals with 20. Well, again, we saw her yesterday once we got done talking. She went out and practiced and practiced hard while everybody else was kind of talking. And I, I swear to you, she didn't miss any and does it very, very easy. Can I just go out on a limb and say she's not going to have any fatigue factor given her training and everything that she's gone through? What a nice young lady, too. I mean, she came over, sat down. She is, I believe it is artillery yes. that she's yeah. into. Not guns but big, cannons. Big, yeah. yes. big ones <laughs> yes she's about the size of one of the shells right. you put in those things Tiffany Mitchell came up short but what a career she had at South Carolina but go back to Kelsey let's think about this a retired Jersey artillery having a great time here at the final four getting to sleep in a little bit and now in the finals for the three-point competition now it's Kelsey Milano who had the great second round with 20, which was the best round of the night so far for the women. And she is Mr. Dockage choice to win the whole thing. Let's see if she does. And since I got no horse in this yes race, or no. I'm going with yours. Really? Okay. I'm, uh, yeah, I got to go for service. Service to your country. That's Sean Farnham. Okay. She's a little excited. She's missed too long, which hasn't really happened. That one she missed a little bit left. Out of the wing. You know, she said to us yesterday she prefers the rack to her left because she says, I have kind of an odd approach anyway. Watch her. She actually takes almost like a two-hand shot and just whips her right hand over at the last second. Yes, the ball looks like it doesn't, but it looks like it hooks a little bit to the right. For a golfer, it'd be a left to right slice. Well, it's not looking good right now. And the money ball goes. That's Alfred's cause. She's going to have to turn it on these last two racks. There goes one. 
Off the mark a little too strong. Second one, two out of three, three out of four, money time. Gotta have it! Got it! Yes! Got it! Here we go. All comes down to the last rack. Get there. Get there. Little short there. Get there! But see, back short there. there. Short three times. Short will kill you. She got that. I don't know if she got the money ball off in time. It's not going to matter. Rachel Bannon from the University of Minnesota. A winner. And so are you, Brad Nessler. You're a winner. It's about time. It's about time I pick somebody to win.